This is Unit 9.5, the Rectangle Method for Finding Area. First, let's talk about some key vocabulary. Personal references, familiar objects in your everyday life that are close to standard measures. Rectangle method, a non-formula way to find the area of non-rectangle shapes. Now, let's look at the rectangle method, strategy one, add the parts. The easiest way to use this method is to find the area of a right triangle because the formed rectangle will be divided into two congruent triangles. The area of one of these triangles is one half the area of the rectangle. Let's look at triangle A, B, C. It is possible to split the triangle into two parts that are right triangles. When we do it, it will look like this. Here you can see two right triangles inside one triangle. One triangle is here, and the other is here. Now we are going to find the areas of the two parts and add them together to get the total area of the figure. First, I am going to draw a rectangle around the left part of the figure. Here you can see the rectangle that I have drawn. The area of this rectangle is 9 square units. The shaded region is one half of the rectangular region, so its area is 4.5 square units. If you count the boxes inside the rectangle, you will come up with the number 9. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. Next, I'm going to draw a rectangle around the figure on the right. The area of this rectangle is 6 square units. If you count the boxes inside of the rectangle, you will come up with the number 6. The shaded region is half of the rectangular region, so its area is 3 square units. Here are the areas of both triangles. Next, we need to take both of these areas and add them together. This will give us the total area for the entire triangle. 4.5 plus 3 equals 7.5 units squared. Now let's look at strategy 2, subtract the excess. Some triangles cannot be split into two parts that are right triangles, as is the case with this triangle, X, Y, Z. Now the goal is to enclose the entire figure within a rectangle, find the area of the interior parts of the rectangle that are not in the original figure, and subtract them from the area of the rectangle. The area remaining will be the area of the original figure. Here you can see triangle XYZ encased in rectangle XRYS. The area of this rectangle is 12 square units. The shaded region is a right triangle that is half of the rectangular region, so its area is 6 square units. Now we're going to draw another rectangle to find the area of the rest of the figure. The area of this rectangle is 6 square units. This region right here is again a right triangle that is half of the rectangular region, so its area is 3 square units. Because the area of the entire rectangle was 12 square units and the combined areas of the two triangular regions that we created, here and here, is 9 square units, the area of triangle XYZ is 12 minus 6 plus 3. Here is the number sentence we will use to solve this. First, we have to do 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3 equals 9 and 12 minus 9 is 3. So the total area of triangle XYZ is 3 units squared. Now let's try some example problems. Which method is the best to use to figure out the area of this right triangle? If you guessed strategy 1, add the parts, you are correct. Since this triangle is already a right triangle, we can simply draw a box around the entire thing to create a rectangle, count the number of squares inside the rectangle, and divide it by 2. That will give us our final answer. 
Here's my box. Now I'm going to count the number of squares inside. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve divided by two equals six. These boxes are one centimeter by one centimeter, so our units are going to be centimeters squared. Which method is best for calculating the area of this triangle? If you guessed strategy 2, subtract the excess, you are right. First, we will draw a rectangle around the entire triangle. The area of this rectangle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It is 15 centimeters squared. Half of 15 is 7.5. So the area of the right triangle in this rectangle is, is 7.5 centimeters squared. Next, we're going to draw one more rectangle using the vertex of this triangle as the vertex of the rectangle. It will look like this. This rectangle has an area of 6 centimeters squared because there are 6 squares inside the rectangle. This part of the rectangle, which is a right triangle, has an area of 3 centimeters squared. Since the total area of the entire rectangle is 15 centimeters squared, I am going to take 15 centimeters and subtract 7.5 and 3. Our final answer will be 4.5 centimeters squared. So this triangle, our original triangle, has an area of 4.5 centimeters squared. Finally, let's look at this parallelogram. How can we apply either strategy 1 of adding the parts or strategy 2 of subtracting the excess to this figure? First, I am going to start by drawing a rectangle around the entire figure. The area of this rectangle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 centimeters squared. Now I'm going to draw two more rectangles to create right triangles within the parallelogram. They will look like this. The area of each one of these rectangles is 6 centimeters squared. So half of each of these rectangles is 3 centimeters squared. Because I know that the entire big pink rectangle is 21 centimeters squared, and the area on the outside of the parallelogram inside our rectangle is 3 centimeters here and 3 centimeters here, all I have to do is subtract 21 minus 3 and 21 minus 3 to get my answer. Here's what that problem will look like. I added 3 and 3 together so I could subtract their sum from 21. The sum of 3 plus 3 is 6, and 21 minus 6 is 15, giving our parallelogram a final area of 15 centimeters squared. Here is your practice problem of the day. Find the area of this figure. Show all of your work on your blue paper. Remember, each one of these squares is 1 centimeter in length. Don't forget to express your answer with centimeters squared on the end.